Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, this is yet another Thursday evening, approaching the midnight hour. And I'm so blessed that I am able to come and share prayer yet another time. And I will start with scripture. 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. Father God, thank you, thank you, thank you that we can come to you. Thank you for this opportunity that you have allowed us yet another time to come and share prayer approaching the midnight hour. Father God, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, your favor. We thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all of our sins and rose with all power. We thank you for the Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit in this prayer, Father God. And we ask that you pardon us for many sins we committed intentionally or unintentionally in thought and or indeed anything to offend thee, Father God. We want to serve you in a way that please you, that glorify you, Father God, that someone may be encouraged, Father God. Some way, someone may hear our walk. Our, our talk and or see your light father god in us and want to try you for themselves father god that you will be glorified father god so again we thank you i thank you for all of my prayer partners who touch and agree with me that is minister allen our morning daily prayer call um the shape group the allen group the morning glory group um my home church, Cadiz Baptist Church of Detroit, their 6 p.m. daily prayer call. Thank you for Restore World Church, their Tuesday um, evening prayer call. I mean, we'll get prayer hour um, for intercessors as well as um, Second Baptist Church. And in every church that's open in your name, Father God, who is praying, who is standing in the gap, who are interceding for people, Father God, I thank you for them. And we touch and agree because your word says when two or more gathered in your name that you be in the midst. So we thank you that we can stand on your word, that you hear our prayer, Father God. We we want, we want know that you can answer them. We just pray that you will answer them, Father God. And we know that you are light and we thank you for being light in, in this dark world father god and that we can always come to you and that you always 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 brighten our path father god and we thank you for that promise we thank you for who you are we thank you for your word we thank you for your many attributes and your kingdom come father god we want your will to be done in our lives and over our lives and um, I thank you for this season again of sisterhood, um, Project 22 for peace, and as well as uh, all of those who are coming together to do your work. And again, um, I just thank you for this amazing time of sisterhood, Father God. And um, I know that your hand is upon us. We pray for those who are suffering mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, and spiritually, Father God, for the bereaved heart, for the broken heart, Father God. Um, last week, um, they celebrated the coronation um, and, and um, also the Kentucky Derby. These things happen that men celebrate, Father God, but we thank you for having all power and being king of kings, Father God, and we thank you for the opportunity for people to come together to celebrate, but more importantly, that you, above all, is the reason that we're able to do anything. So I, I'm so blessed that we have the proper perspective that without you, there is nothing. We pray for our law enforcement during this um, National Police Week, um, also Teachers Week, um, Mental Health Awareness Month, and for um, all of the other causes, Father God. And that it is important to bring awareness in, and we ask that in areas where where things are not right or, or there is injustice, that the things that anger people, that we can turn it into advocacy, Father God, and um, just 
uh, person um, killed made senseless um, gunshots over a petty three dollar argument father god and we know that life is worth more than three dollars father god that things can be worked out things can be solved and i pray for these united states of america for peace um starting here father god and, and also for world peace but again it has to start within our homes within our own communities as we pray for peace throughout the world father God and we pray for all of those who are serving in the um, military away from their family we thank you for upholding righteousness and, and peace Father God and that's what we're standing in the need of Father God and we're calling out to you for it only as you can for the first responders for those in the travel industry father god we ask that you keep your hand of protection on them again as they serve and we believe in your word that what what you what we do for the least of the people father god that you care so again we thank you and we ask for your divine coverage your divine protection we pray for those in leadership and government father god that they will be convicted to do what thus saith the lord father god oh we believe you and we stand on your word and on this upcoming Mother Day, Father God, for those who celebrate, we celebrate. And for those who have a hard time, Father God, we share and express empathy, Father God. And we know for some this is a hard season, Father God. But again, we know that nothing is too hard for you. But uh, for those who are graduating from school, celebrating birthdays and other joyous occasions, we celebrate and we thank God for you in the celebratory season. But for those who have a hard season again, Father God, we ask that you be near only as you can. And for people to... Uh, understand and realize that it may be a hard time so for every sister aunt mother godmother grandmother nana we ask and we ask a special covering and we say thank you thank you for all of those who have a hand in mothering we know that it's more than a one person job and even for some dads who have been Mr. Mom, Father God, we just thank you. And on the day, the weekend that they choose to honor, I ask that you bless them only as you can and have mercy, Father God, only as you can. So um, in closing, I, I just want to share one thing. Um, today, as I turned the air on in my car, it was not coming out. And when I looked up, my vent was not open. And God told me right now, it's some people who are crying out in prayer. It's some people who are wanting things. And I would just say, open your vent, have faith and believe and trust God in the things that you're asking for, that he not only can, but he will. We know that he is all sovereign and all powerful. For those who are affected by the various storms in your life, just hold on to God. We pray for you. You're not a forgotten. Oh, we pray for peace and we thank you. And again, we bless your holy name in the matchless name of Jesus. I thank you for my daughters and I pray for your daughters and sons. I pray for all of our youth to be covered as we are approaching this um, graduation season and this summer season. Father God, keep your hand of protection upon them. Oh, we plead your precious blood, Jesus, for you to have mercy, for you to hold, for you to help, for you to heal, for you to keep only as you can. If there's anything I forgot, please charge it to my head and know that God left us in peace. So I too will say peace in the matchless name of Jesus. Until next time, thank you, my LinkedIn and my YouTube people. Make sure you subscribe and share prayer. Peace and blessings. Amen.